First at 11, we are tracking what's now Tropical Storm Laura. There is cautiously better news for most of South Florida than this time last night. Good evening, I'm Lauren Pastrana. And I'm Elliot Rodriguez. The forecast track has shifted a little to the south today, close to Cuba, but we still need to pay close attention through the weekend. The big question for tomorrow, will it travel over land or over water? Let's get right to Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer with the new advisory at 11 o'clock. Craig. So I think to sum it up, we have to say we are feeling better about Laura tonight. Uh, it has been uh, one, struggling, has not gotten better organized at all, and two, in its struggle, has managed to shift more southward. Now remember, the, the, the whole story was, is it going to be north of the islands or over the islands? And its position tonight is now south of the islands, so it would have to literally go more of a northwesterly direction for a while to get now north of the islands. So we're feeling much better about Laura tonight. Here's the 11 o'clock advisory, 45 mile an hour winds moving west northwest at 18 and about 195 miles east southeast of San Juan, Puerto Rico. This yellow area here, that's the extent of the tropical storm conditions. And they are mainly trailing behind the center there. Now the warnings are up all the way up now into the Bahamas for tropical storm warnings for tropical storm conditions. And that will probably extend farther to the west as we go forward into time. Here's the latest uh, threat cone. You can see the yellow area here showing where the tropical storm conditions are expected to overspread uh, the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico overnight tonight and during the day tomorrow. And you can see the old cone there, the outline there. That's where the center is expected to be tracking now south of Puerto Rico. Remember, for the past several days, I've been saying we wanted to go over or south of Puerto Rico to keep it on a track through the islands. So now Saturday evening, here it is coming into the Dominican Republic there, and we'll have to literally cross the island now to get to the other side, coming out uh, near Haiti, uh, eastern Haiti there, western Haiti rather, uh, at 8 a.m. on Sunday. There's a Sunday evening now. Now it's dealing with the mountainous eastern terrain of Cuba, that's Sunday evening, and it's likely to weaken even further because now Cuba it has to run the course of the Long Island there. There's 8 a.m. Monday, 8 p.m. Monday evening. It's a little bit farther away from South Florida, and that yellow area, the threat area, you can see it almost disappears for a time before it reappears a little bit now near the Keys but completely out of South Florida. Remember, in the threat cone, it's the yellow area that you don't want over you. The, the line of the cone doesn't mean as much as that yellow area. Then after that, it's on to the northwest and on up towards uh, uh, Louisiana there. And uh, who knows if it'll even get there because it may not even make it that far. Here's the way it's looked through the evening. And you can see it's sputtering there. Some thunderstorms popping up here or there. This was the 5 p.m. position. Hurricane hunters went out and were investigating in there, having a hard time uh, finding the new center. And then they came around here by that little thunderstorm. And it's up. Oh, that's where it is as of 8 p.m. And now this evening at 11 p.m. it's there. So it hasn't moved to the northwest. It's basically moving to the west. Why is this important? Because from this start point here, we know that it's going to go in that general direction. But now all of these lines are tracking over the islands of the Greater Antilles here, right through the Monday 1 p.m. time position there and on into the Gulf of Mexico. So what are we doing? We might have some tropical storm force wind gusts on Sunday night and Monday. So we would be concerned, of course, about power ash, uh, outages, maybe some things that could blow around. Right now, I think shutters are extremely unlikely, but of course, we'll keep, keep watching that. Have more on that. And the other thing we're watching that is working in our favor, it's coming up in just a bit.